What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. I know, I know we've been missing in action for a few weeks. We had a lot going on. So three weeks ago, a bookkeeper quit on me and I had to fill in and it took up all my time. And then we were in Mexico one week. If you haven't seen that vlog yet, go check out my wife's channel, tag it down below. That was an awesome week. We needed it. We relaxed, it was a great time. And then last week or last Sunday, we went to go film a house, this house, and it snowed about a foot. So nothing's been working right, but that's okay. We're over here now. I'm about to walk you guys through our newest rehab. This house right behind me is a great starter home. We're gonna only be asking $145,000 for this house. It's a smaller house. It's 1,250 square feet, two bedrooms, one bath, but we've redone everything in here. So although it's small, it's really updated and looks really great. Um, also, we redid the whole backyard, which you'll see it had a swimming pool in it and we got rid of that and it just looks so much better. But without any further ado, Rihanna's gonna do a neighborhood check. Time for a neighborhood check this is one of my favorite parts of the house tours so here we have the cute little house and over here we have the right side of the neighborhood very nice quiet and all the houses are up kept very well right here we have straight across that's our car I don't know what John's doing in there but there's a very nice house across the street and then over to the left of the house we have another nice part of the neighborhood so this neighborhood looks good in all directions we've seen families walking around and it is quiet it's not near a highway but it is near grocery stores and restaurants so I give this neighborhood a 9 out of 10 only getting a 9 because there aren't amenities and I just wanted to show you, it did snow a foot the other day, like John said, and there is still some leftover snow, but now it is 70 and sunny. So that's interesting. Thank you, Rihanna, as always, for the awesome neighborhood tour. And now let's talk about the house. So as you can see, we had to do pretty much everything out here on the outside of the house. We painted the foundation. We put in brand new windows all the way around and a brand new roof. It also has brand new vinyl siding. I think it looks really good out here. While this isn't a big house, it came out really nice. And I do want to say, you know, I just want to be honest with you guys that we did go over budget on this house. Whatever could go wrong did go wrong. It went over timeline and over budget, but our contingency saved us and we are still gonna make money on this house. Uh, but yeah, it's just one of those projects that nothing went as planned. Something else nice about this house is the humongous front and backyards. You'll see the backyard here in a little bit. And also it is completely fenced in. These are huge selling features. Ask almost any buyer what they're looking for in almost any time. Obviously, of course, it's the primary bedroom and the kitchen. But besides that, they usually want nice yards. And if it's a fenced in yard, especially if they have pets, and a lot of people do, that's a huge bonus for them. All right, without any further ado, I'm gonna go up to the front door and we're gonna tour the inside of this house. Before I go inside, I do wanna point out that you probably see these huge planter boxes with no flowers in them. And that's because we are just now getting out of the winter season. There was no point to plant a bunch of flowers and stuff in here as it literally just snowed about a foot here just four days ago. So maybe in a week or two, if this thing's still in the market, we will do some landscaping and plant some flowers. So I knew someone in the comments probably would say something. So there's your answer for that. Thank you, Rihanna. Isn't she just the best helper? Thank you so much, babe. Okay, so right when you walk in here, you walk into this really cool entryway or a foyer or whatever you would call it. I never say it right, but it's really cool because what I would do with it is I would buy one of those shelves where you put your shoes and hang your coats and all that. It also has these pretty cool built-in shelves already, but it's a nice little entryway. You can do with it whatever you want. And as we walk this way, you walk into the living area. This looks so much better than it did before. It used to have all these like built-in shelves and they were falling apart. Anyway, it looks 10 times better, but even more important than that, Blackberry Thistle Tea, if you're watching, what is something you don't see? No gray walls. This is one of the first houses in a long time that we did not paint gray. It's actually white with gray trim and I think it looks really good. And it's actually a pretty spacious living room, being that this house, again, is only 1,250 square feet. So I'm going to circle around here just so you guys can get a complete view of when you walk in here. And it's a pretty nice layout. Now I'm going to walk back here to a couple of the bedrooms and a bathroom. So I'll show you the bedrooms first. They're pretty similar, but one does have a little bit better closet. So the bedrooms, again, they're not the largest in the world, but this is a starter house. So this bedroom actually has a double door closet, which is really nice. And then this bedroom over here is probably for like kids or a toddler or like a nursery or something because it does only have the single door closet. But they do have double windows, which is great because it lets a ton of light in here. Again, we replaced all of the windows throughout. 
Windows is something that you don't want to skimp on because it really does make or break a house if those aren't updated. Now let's talk about the bathroom, which came a super long way. This house was in pretty bad shape when we got it, especially the bathroom, but look at it now. I really like what we did with the tile here. We actually mixed two types of tile here and it looks really good. And we also put in the inlets or the niches, whatever you want to call them, to hold your shampoo and stuff. A lot of flippers and rehabbers forget those. They just do the surround, but they forget a place to hold your items and they have to put it down here around the base of the tub and they always fall in. Don't forget those. It's only like 100 to 200 bucks to put those in there. Just do it. It looks much better and it's much more functional. Also a brand new vanity over here with the barnyard door on it. We've used this vanity a lot. We get a lot of great feedback. It has plenty of storage in it and it just looks good. New mirror, new light, new toilet, and the new flooring. So this bathroom, again, not the biggest bathroom in the world, but it looks really good. Let's go back this way. And we're actually gonna go into the dining room area. There's actually two dining rooms in this house or the other one's like maybe a breakfast area. It's in the kitchen, I'll show it to you in a minute. But this is one of the dining rooms and I really like this light. It's very modern and contemporary and that's my style. So I would actually use this light in our own house. And then past the dining room is your third bedroom, your primary bedroom. And it's a little bit different, the fact that you have to walk down here. I think this was originally an addition but this came out really nice. This will make a very spacious and bright primary bedroom. You got the three big windows here shining in. You got a nice fireplace in the bedroom. You got a place to hang your TV up there. And if I spin around, nice big closet back there. I just imagine a king size bed right here with the foot of the bed right there and looking out to these big windows. And if you did some landscaping and stuff like that, you'd have a really nice view to wake up to. Something I was seeing as I was talking to you guys, this window, I don't think you can see it on cameras, but it's pretty dirty right there. So the cleaners actually need to come back over here. That's very important that you never pay your contractors, cleaners, whoever completely until they do the job, you always hold some back. And actually, if you guys need a good way to pay your contractors, here's a word from today's sponsor. I hope you guys are loving the video so far. We wanted to take a second to tell you about something that is very useful for us as small business owners who often have to make and receive payments. We're gonna be talking about today's video sponsor, Melio. Melio is a free and easy to use payment solution that allows small businesses in the US to pay virtually any domestic business expense by bank transfer or credit card, even when credit card is not accepted, which is a huge deal because then you're able to use your credit card rewards points, which is what John and I do for other things. So we like to pay our bills with credit cards and then pay off our credit cards and rack up those points. A lot of bills you can't pay with credit cards. So that's our workaround. There are no setup fees and no monthly fees. Amazing. And users can pay with their bank transfer for free or you can use a credit card and pay a small fee to use your credit card to pay bills. After you pay either by bank transfer or credit card, then the vendor or the payment collector receives their payment by bank transfer or check. So they can receive it two different ways. And with Melio, you or your small business can schedule your payments so you know they're going out on time because you know we're always busy with 100 things on our to-do list and that's one more thing you don't have to worry about. So if you're interested in checking out Melio for your small business, make sure you head to meliopayments.com or click the link in our description below to learn more. And again, thank you Melio for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to the tour. All right, now we're going into the kitchen. Again, this did a complete 180 from what it used to look like. White cabinets, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, the norm for what we do. Uh, but again, with the white paint and the gray trim, I really like this backsplash. Something different, something that we don't use a lot, and I think it really pops in this kitchen. Nice faucet set right there. And then you do go over here, let me show you, brand new fridge, of course, with some cabinet space above it. And then you go into that other like dining room area I was talking about. It already has some built-in shelving there. Some people really love that. I'm not personally a fan of it, but it is kind of cool. Again, with the modern lighting, I really like that. And you could have this like as a little bar seating area. You know, Rihanna called it a breakfast dining room. Whatever that means, I'm not really sure, but now you got it. You walk through there and you come out to your laundry room. And it's actually nice in this size house to have a dedicated laundry room. 
Your water tank is out here as well. And this is something else we do for all of our buyers or any house that we flip. We always leave cans of the paint that we use behind. This way they have extra if they need to do touch-ups or whatever, but they will also know the colors of the paint we use in their house in case they need it for future use. And after you leave the laundry room area, you actually come out here. And I think Vienna already showed you this, but this thing is, has a super long driveway. Like that's really important, especially when there's no real parking on the street. So you get to get at least six cars, you know, back to back, you get six cars in this driveway, which is kind of nice. And then you've got this huge backyard. Well, huge for this area and it's flat. There used to be a huge swimming pool back here. It didn't look so great. We actually removed a portion of the house that was right here. Uh, it just was not very functional. It, they didn't do it right, the previous people, and so we just had to remove it and cut it off right there. Doesn't look the absolute best, but it's way more functional now and just works much better. And that's pretty much it for this tour, and I'm, now I'm gonna close this video out. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. I think this is the perfect starter home for a future family, and we hope this thing sells quickly. It should be on the market in the next couple of days, and hopefully the offers start pouring in. As always, I wanna leave you guys with a little bit of advice about flipping houses towards the end of this for anybody who's watching it for that purpose. So earlier in the video, I talked about holding back some pay from contractors and stuff, and it's actually very common in this industry and I'll give you an example of this let's say you agree to a company to do the floors in the house for five thousand dollars well let's say they require the first twenty five hundred dollars up front that's a little high but just work with me here so you pay them twenty five hundred dollars up front they finish the job finish the job they send you pictures say they're done and you release the other twenty five hundred dollars before inspecting the job yourself now you've paid them the full five thousand dollars but you haven't came over here to look at it yourself what do you do now? Let's say you come over to the house, you look at it and they did a terrible job. You're not satisfied with how it looks. What are you gonna do now? You've already paid them in full. Of course, if they're a great contractor, they'll come back and fix it anyway, but that's not always the case. So you wanna hold back about 10 to 20% of that job until you put eyes on it yourself or somebody you trust does. And that way it always leaves you some leverage to go back after that contractor to make sure they finish the job. So there's just a rule of thumb for you guys. Always hold back 10 to 20% of the entire job when you're working with contractors until you inspect the job yourself and make sure it's done up to your standards. I hope that helps you. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate your support and we have more videos coming your way. We'll see you on the next one.